Hello and welcome to this tutorial where I'm going to show you how to install basic aspects of Album DS and how to make your first album. After visiting our website you've got the link to download the Album DS installer. If you're using a Windows PC you will have got a file called Album DS Setup Exe. If you are using a Mac computer, your file is albumds.dmg. Just double click at this file to start the installation. If you are using a Mac, you will get a screen like this one. Please drag the albumds folder from left to right into applications. This will copy the albumds folder in applications and create the albumds folder. In this folder you will have the Album DS application and a file with the resources. This file will be used the first time you start Album DS. You may drag the Album DS icon into your Mac dock for a faster access. Or you may start Album DS directly from the application's Album DS folder. If you're using a PC, just double click the Album DS setup exe file and the installation will start. Click yes when requested. Select your installation language. And just click next and accept the license agreement until the installation finishes. Once the installation has finished, you will have two new icons in your desktop. One is Album DS and the other one is Album DS 64 bytes. This icon 64 bits is for using Album DS with Photoshop in 64 bits. The other one is for Photoshop in 32 bits. If you are unsure with which version of Photoshop you are using, you may just click at Photoshop menu, Help, System Info and at the first line you will see if it's an X64 or an X32 system. If you are using the X64 system, please start Album DS 64 bits. Otherwise, please start Album DS. The first time you start Album DS, you will be prompted to select your version of Photoshop, from Photoshop CS to Photoshop CC. You may later change this setting at the Configuration tab. Also, if you are using the demo version, the trial version, you will be prompted with a welcome message. You have to wait some seconds, click at Start and Album DS will open. Album DS Windows and Macintosh versions are almost identical. The only difference is on the position of the minimize buttons and some other settings at the configuration. You may resize and move Album DS window, dragging it from the corner. You may also resize the list of pictures in the first tab the preview size, the templates preview size and templates list, and the sheets preview size. These settings will be remembered the next time you start Album DS. Album DS is made of a main window including some tabs. These tabs are for pictures and templates, the first tab. The second shows the design sheets of your album. Third is for masks. Then backgrounds, clip art, frames, styles, extras to enhance your pictures. And finally, Album settings for inputting the album size and the configuration tab where you can change the language, the Photoshop version and some other settings for Album DS like remaining the window always visible, 
the color used for uh, framing used pictures and so on. And there are two very important buttons. Activate license. Once you purchase the license, you will have to use this button to activate it. And install add-ons. This one is only available once you have purchased the license. And it's used to install, to download and install all the add-ons for Album DS. Album DS is larger than 4 GB and the demo is 300 MB only. Album DS always includes the sample album. The sample album has some sample pictures and some design sheets to show you what you can do with Album DS. These are only samples. To create your own album, please never reuse the sample album because this way you will only be able to use or to create one album. Instead of this, go to the album tab, select new album and input a name for your album. This will create a database file where this, uh, the sheets, the pictures, thumbnails and previews are saved and also the relation between pictures and sheets. Now I will select documents and give it a name. My first album. This will create a database, a DB file in documents. Album DS always reused the same settings from the previous album, but you may change them, inputting a new title, new customer name, etc. And also the size of your album. Once you're finished inputting the size, please click at Save Changes. Notice that Album DS may use centimeters or inches for your album. You may change this setting at the Configuration tab. Just select Inches and then you can go to Album and input the album size in inches. Let's do an album of 20 inches by 10. If you input this, you may use 21 inches by 10.5 inches height and you have to input the margin also. This size, the width size, includes the margins and the height size also. You have to include the margin. The top margin may be 35, 25, and here 0505. Zero five, zero five. You will have to ask your lab for these sizes or you may use a predefined album size for our recommended labs. Then click at Save Changes. Remember, these are the sizes used for Album DS to create the new documents. If you change this size at any time, it will only be changed for the next documents, not for the sheets already done. Okay? Remember always to click at Save Changes. Once you have created a new album, the pictures list will be empty and so also the sheets list because you have not designed any sheet. If you want to reopen an older album, you have to click at Open Album. Let's open now just again the sample album. The sample album is at Album DS, Sample, and you have to select the database file, Sample DB open. This will reload the settings for the old sample album and also the pictures and sheets designed for the sample. This way you will you will, may work in several albums just opening the one you need to work on. Let's open again the newly created and documents. It was my first album, open, and here we have the settings, our album sizes, no pictures and no sheets. The next step is to add some pictures to our album. Adding pictures is very fast and easy. You only have to open with Windows Explorer or the uh, Mac Finder the folder with your pictures, you have to select them 
and then drag the pictures into your pictures tab. You may also use the integrated menu to add pictures. At Album DS, the menus are always available with a right click on your mouse. If you right click on a picture, you may click Add Pictures and select the folder to add them. If you right click at Templates, you will get the menu for templates. If you right click at Template Folders, you will get the menu for template folders. There is also a menu for sheets and for albums. As you may have seen, templates, masks, backgrounds, etc. always have a list of folders at right. If you click at one of these folders, the templates are loaded into the list. If you click at all of them, all templates are loaded. You may also select all of them by checking all or unchecking all in the template folders menu. Okay, let's now have some folders clicked. The same is valid for masks. You click at a mask folder and the masks of this folder are loaded. Clipparts, frames, styles, also use system. Okay, now we are going to design the first sheet. Let's close this and we want to use this very simple template. To open this template you have to double click at it. It will open in Photoshop at the album size you have input at the album tab. Okay. Let's check it. This is the template open in Photoshop. You can go to image, image size, you see 21 by 20 uh, by 10 and a half inches. Okay. Now you have to select the shape layer, use it as target for the first picture. So you can see there are two shape layers in this document, shape one and shape two. By selecting the first, you select this first layer. Now, let's put them a picture. You have to double click the picture and it will be added to the document open in Photoshop and group it to the shape. Once the picture is in the document, you may select it and move it or resize it just like any other layer in Photoshop. Now let's select the second shape layer and we're going to click at another picture. This picture will be placed in the second shape layer and grouped to this one. Here our first design is finished. We only have to save the sheet. Click on the Sheets tab, right click to get the menu and select Save Sheet. Now you may select where to save these sheets. We are going to save it in a new folder, creating it in Documents. My first album. You may save it in any place you want. And we are going to name the sheet sheet 001 save this will save the jpg sheet the psd and also create the thumbnail and preview for album ds it will also mark the picture as used in album ds all in one step you don't need to save the sheet with photoshop already album ds has saved the sheet for you Now let me show you another easy way to create a sheet, an automatic way. If you go to configuration and select fill template immediately after drag and drop and also apply full filter when auto filtering, then you go to pictures, 
enable auto filter here under the templates folders and now select a couple of template oh, of pictures sorry let's select this picture and this one one vertical and one horizontal album ds automatically shows you the templates ready for these two pictures this Templates are shown from the selected folders. If you select all folders, of course, you will have more templates. But for this sample, we only need this uh, simple template. Now, drag the template to one of the selected pictures and Album DS will open the template automatically in Photoshop and input the selected pictures on it. All the process is automatic. You can see the sheet is ready to be saved. If you want to make any change, just select for sample this picture and move it slightly to up. Now select sheet tab, right click, save sheet, give it a name, let's say sheet 002 and save it. This will again save the PSD format of the file of the sheet and the JPG format. Mark the pictures as used and create the thumbnail and the preview. Also, regarding that you have dragged the, the template to the pictures, the picture will show a little thumbnail of the user template. These two pictures so show the thumbnail. If you hover over one picture without a template, you cannot see any template preview. But if you go over a temp uh, picture with a template, you can see both the picture preview and the template preview. Both are here. These are ones of the easiest way to fill a sheet with Album DS. Other automatic fill-in processes are shown in our other tutorials.